Well, John Cameron Mitchell changed the game with his cutting-edge rock musical, Hedwig and the Angry Inch. Yeah, and now he's breaking new ground in the world of podcasts with his latest project, Anthem. And we are so excited to chat with him now. Welcome. Well, thank Hi. you. You guys look so moist. <laughs> Thank you. Out of context, that we sounds so strange. We special attention to that. <laughs> so listen, let's talk about this podcast. This is the first of its kind. It combines music and theater and drama. First of all, kind of, how do you describe it, and how did you come up with this idea? Yeah. Well, my composer Brian Weller and I wanted. We originally wrote it as a TV series, but it was too weird. And <laughs> I guess if I brought Hedvig to Hollywood now, it would be too weird if it was new. So I always tend to do stuff. Uh, you know, ahead of my time, which means I make no money. <laughs> uh, but in this case, with Topic Studios and Luminary, this new podcast app that's like the Netflix of podcasts, cool. we made a five and a half hour musical. It's really like a TV series without visuals. So yeah. Glenn Close plays my mom, oh my God. Dennis O'Hare, uh, Cynthia Erivo plays my baby mama. <laughs> um, this amazing actor named Nakane, um, Marion Cotillard. Oh my it. God, I love Patty her. Wow. Wow. Hey, yes. Lacombe plays my aunt. So, but, who's a nun, a but, cool nun. That's very cool. But theater, when you go to a, a theater and you see a play or you watch a movie, yeah. you get it all in one chunk. So yeah. this is like with a podcast, you get a bit by bit. You get a section an, of yeah, it. Musical is usually all a series. Audio, so it's a very all different audio. experience. But you know, a musical works well with audio because it's songs and and words. Yeah. I mean, there's a lot of visual, and we may do another version of it. You know, either on stage or on television, or a feature. But it was kind of exciting to have it all at your. You know, you could do it cheaply. You could do it tightly. You could get Glenn Close for four days and do a whole season. No stage. Oh no stage. Yeah. She didn't have no to sex. shave. <laughs> no hair and makeup. Please. It was exactly. And she's in her slippers and like with a dog. And like, yeah. I love that. Well tell us, for those who may not know, what it's about. What's what about? the story's about. Well it's a little bit of an alternate autobiography. It's my, my own life if I'd never left my small town. What would I be like? What if I never took a risk. Maybe, maybe I never came out or I never shared my work and I'd be a dangerous, you know, dangerous liberal shut-in in my trailer. <laughs> and my character has a brain tumor. Luckily, I don't. It's yeah. nothing but glass. I know. <laughs> that real wood. Um, I don't know. <laughs> and I, I'm out of insurance. And like so many Americans, uh, absurdly having to crowdfund their care yeah. because Medicaid and, you know, our system is not working. That's yeah. so, my character is trying to raise, he's going to stay online on an app for a telethon, like a live Kickstarter, till he gets the money to get his brain tumor out, oh my or till he dies, whichever <gasps> comes first. Oh my gosh. It's too far too common a story. Yeah. It's, it's, so it's, it's like, insane. Yeah. And you know, I'm taking care of my mom right now, and, and the amount of money and our priorities, but that's, you know, we get into that in the piece, but it's also the tumor. Uh, gives me hallucinations, so a tumor becomes a kind of a character. Yeah, insane. Yeah, yeah Laurie oh. Anderson plays my tumor. Um, <laughs> oh my gosh. And, you know, we've got 30 songs that's out on, you know, 10 of them are out now online. Uh, we're into our fourth episode this week, and we want to revolutionize podcasts. Yeah, That's well, this is not the only thing you're doing, though. We love you on Shrill as um, a good Annie's show. fat phobic yeah. boss, Gabe. People You've called him a it. punk rock dictator. I'm How a did punk you come rock up with dick this? Minus the tater. I <laughs> just, I think of those people who are like, it was better in the 90s, you know, including myself. Um, <laughs> Because, you know, as we know, New York has changed, Portland has changed where it's shot, which was an epicenter of, inter, you know, independent music in the 90s. And my character's like, ah, you, you kids, you millennials don't know what the hell you're doing. <laughs> and he's insensitive, and he, he fat shames A.D. Bryant's character. Ah. He didn't get the memo that you can be fat and healthy. And he's just calling her a metaphor for America's laziness. Oh, and it's gosh. really nasty. He's a pill. He's yeah, horrible. he's a pill. But he's, you know, he's lovable, too. <laughs> he's lovable I play, I'm playing a lot of like lovable you villains. Are. You are. You're very lovable. A good fight. So follow John on social media to keep up with his latest projects. And his podcast, Anthem, is available now on the Luminary app. Thank you so much for breaking it You're down welcome. for us and tell us what it's all about. Yeah.